एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अवर रेलेटिव इनकम हाइपोथिस रेलेटिव इनकम हाइपोथिस गिवन बाय जेम्स ड्यूस एंड बेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस हाइपोथिस वी केयर अबाउट अवर रेलेटिव वेलबिंग देन अवर एब्सोल्यूट वेलबिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस हाइपोथिस वी केयर अबाउट अवर रेलेटिव वेलबिंग देन अवर एब्सोल्यूट वेलबिंग रेलेटिव वेलबिंग मीन्स वी कंपेयर अवर सेल्फ विद अदर वी वॉन्ट टू मेंटेन अवर स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग इक्वल टू द पीपल of our society even we are not earning equal to them for example person a is satisfied with his old cooler but suddenly his neighbor brought new ac by seeing her he also brought new ac here his consumption is not affected by his need his consumption is affected by consumption of his neighbor According to absolute income hypothesis, when our income increase, our APC will fall. Means when our income increase, our consumption will increase smaller than our income. But according to relative income hypothesis, if income of all individual in society will increase at same proportion, then APC will remain constant. It will not fall. Means our spending will not fall because our relative income will not change. Please listen carefully. According to relative income hypothesis, if income of all individual society will increase at same proportion then our apc will remain constant it will not fall means our spending will not fall because our relative income will not change for example there are two person in society person a and person b income of person a is 10000 per month and income of person b is 20000 per month and income of a is half of income b suppose income of a increase from 10000 to 20000 income of b increase 20000 to 40000 no doubt absolute income of a increase from 10000 to 20000 but still his relative income is same still his income is half of income or income of b if he want to maintain his standard of living equal to b he has to consume more he has to spend more that's why apc of a will not fall it will remain constant Now we understand relative income hypothesis with the help of this diagram. In this diagram on x-axis we have disposable income and y-axis we have consumption and saving. O Y is our income line and this C C is our short run consumption function. Here we have two person, person A and person B. Person A income is O Y one and person A consumption is A Y one. Person B income is O Y two and person B consumption is B Y two. Now suppose person Person A income increase from O Y one to O Y two, and person B income increase from O Y two to O Y three. When person A income increase from O Y one to O Y two, then according to this consumption function, person A should consume B Y two, but person B A is consuming A one. Y two. Please listen carefully. When person A income increase from O Y one to O Y one two, according to this consumption function, he should consume B Y two. But person A is consuming A one Y two. He is consuming A one B one. This part is more. He is consuming A one B extra more. Okay, because his neighbor person A income person B income has also increased. He has to maintain his standard of living according to him. That's why he is consuming. More. He is consuming this part more. Similar, person B income increase O Y two O Y three. According to this consumption uh, function, he should consume C Y three. But actually, he is consuming B one Y three because he is also imitating someone else, which income is higher than him. Okay, he is also consuming this part more. Okay, and this dotted line is showing APC of uh, A. Means constant APC of A, and this dotted line is showing constant APC of B. When we join this both dotted line, we will get new consumption curve C one, C one. Okay. This hypothesis, Dusan Bari also talks about two types of effect: demonstration effect and ratchet effect. Firstly, we talk about demonstration effect. Demonstration effect means when individuals or household try to imitate or copy the consumption level of their neighbor. Demonstration effect means when individuals or household try to imitate or copy the consumption level of their neighbor. For example, if my neighbor buy new TV, new AC, I also buy new TV and AC by seeing him. And demonstration effect. 
वी हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड इन प्रीवियस डायग्राम विल टॉक अबाउट रेचेड इफेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इफेक्ट इफ इनकम ऑफ पर्सन फॉल देन हिज कंजम्पशन विल नॉट फॉल एज मच अकॉर्डिंग टू रेचेड इफेक्ट इफ इनकम ऑफ पर्सन फॉल देन हिज कंजम्पशन विल नॉट फॉल एज मच बिकॉज़ ही हैज बिकम हैबिचुअल ऑफ देयर प्रीवियस लाइफस्टाइल ही कैन नॉट चेंज इट इजीली सेकंड थिंग ही डोंट वांट टू शो हिज नेबर्स ही कैन नॉट अफोर्ड दीस थिंग्स नाउ how we understand ratchet effect with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have disposable income and y axis we have consumption and saving this cl is our long term consumption function this ov is our income line initially person a income is ov1 and his consumption is c1 y1 initially person a income is ov1 and his consumption is c1 y1 now suppose person a income fall from ov1 to ov0 a According to this consumption function at O Y zero income a person A should consume C zero Y zero but he is consuming C two Y zero. According to this consumption function at O Y zero income person A should consume C zero Y zero but he is consuming C two Y zero. He is consuming C two C zero more. This part he is consuming more because of ratchet effect. When his income fall, he is not able to reduce his consumption and he is moved to the short run consumption function. and this is short run consumption function cs and this is all about uh, relative income hypothesis i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care